Hi Barbie girl, welcome or welcome back to the Bible Barbie podcast. I am your host, Anna Elizabeth, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. I'm so excited to share what the Lord has placed on my heart. If you are going through a difficult season, if you feel like God is not there with you, if you just feel so alone in your battle, I am here to remind you that you're not alone, that God is not only with you, but he has gone before you. He's already made your path straight. All you got to do is trust in him, seek him, and lean on him. As y'all could tell by today's title, we are going to be talking about dreams today. I know there are so many speculations on what dreams are, where they come from, if we should believe them, what they mean. And I'm not an expert on dreams, but one thing I do know is that there are many stories in the Bible where the Lord has used dreams to communicate with his people, to warn his people, to preserve his people. Times may have changed, but God has not changed and he's still using dreams to communicate with us today. I think many of us have the gift to dream. I think God wants to speak to us in our dreams, but many of us haven't unlocked it or many of us can dream and are dreaming, but we don't understand what God is saying. So today I wanted to kind of delve in to my experiences um, with receiving dreams from God and just share what I've learned, what the Holy Spirit um, has put on my heart. But before we get started, I do want to pray. I always want to pray. So if y'all would just close your eyes, bow your heads, and let's invite the Lord into this conversation. Thank you, Heavenly Father for bringing us here today thank you for being the friend that sticks closer than a brother thank you for reminding us god that you walk with us that you will lead us god if we just look to you lord thank you for communicating with us thank you for reaching out to us even when our faces are turned from you god we just pray that you would give us clarity and understanding to hear what you're saying in this season and every season moving forward god we love you We thank you for who you are, and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before I give my life to the Lord, y'all, I really did not dream much, and I think, you know, a huge part of that was because I was a heavy smoker at the time. I genuinely believe that smoking is something that the enemy uses to pull us away from a consciousness of God. After um, giving my life to God, after I stopped smoking, I noticed that I started to dream again and I started to dream a lot. And it didn't take long for me to realize that not only was I dreaming, but God was using my dreams to communicate with me. And I want to share this story with y'all where I realized that God was a man of his word, that God was not just playing around when he said that he goes before us, but he showed me in real life that he went before me because he showed me something before it happened. When I first started my relationship with God, my life was very different and I was living in an apartment with three other girls who were my friends at the time. I just started to realize that there was something off. I couldn't put my finger on what it was, but something inside me that I now know was the Holy Spirit was warning me, was just putting that discernment in my heart to realize that those friendships weren't true and maybe their intentions weren't what I would have wanted or hoped that they would have been. So one specific day, I remember I was laying in my bed and I was reading the Bible and I think I started praying. And so I kind of like sat back on my pillow and my hands were crossed like on top of my chest, like in prayer motion. But I end up like falling asleep or like literally like having a vision almost. And in this dream, I'm laying on my bed exactly how I was and two of the girls came into my room and they've just had these terrible looking like really scary faces and they were just yelling and just making so much noise. And then I remember the room just started shaking in the dream like like almost an earthquake and I just crossed my hands over my chest like I was in real life and I started praying 
and then i woke up and when i woke up i was in the same stance but i remember just thinking like what the heck just happened like that was such a weird dream but anyways that dream gave me the confirmation that i needed to cut those friendships out of my life and you know that's a real sticky situation when you live with somebody but you gotta dead the friendship but i'm so glad that i i took heed to that and i was obedient to that obedience is a huge part of walking with the lord y'all because when god shows you something it could be a matter of life or death. That dream was something that I thought about a lot. And I prayed about, you know, asking God, like, what exactly did that mean? I knew in my spirit that I had to let those friendships go. I knew I had to debt it, but I still didn't understand exactly what that dream meant. Why were my hands crossed? Why did they come in my room making noise? I didn't understand until I understood. I finally understood a few months later when i found myself in a situation where i was in my room and the girls were yelling nasty things outside of my room throwing things at my door just creating a chaotic situation and y'all i was so stressed out in that moment i wanted to cry i wanted to break down but i started praying and y'all when i started praying that's when that dream came into remembrance for me and then i literally realized that i wasn't alone that god had already gone before me because he had shown me that he had gone before me and it all clicked and it all made sense and the lord really got me through that situation and i think just knowing that he was aware of the situation that he had warned me months before it happened it was just supernatural y'all like i don't know how else to explain it like that was really like one of the first miracles that i saw god perform in in my personal life i started to realize that the reason why my hands were in a prayer motion why the dream happened the way it happened is because god was showing me that that was an attack of the enemy that that the enemy knew that i was growing closer to god and he was using the people who were around me the people that he had access to to attack my faith because if god had not shown me that moment i could have reacted out of my flesh said some crazy things back did some crazy things too or i could have felt like god wasn't with me and i could have just felt like ever since giving all my life to god now bad things are happening but god is always one step in front of the enemy and he's always one step in front of us if we would just turn our eyes to look at him when god gives you a dream and it's a warning or it's something that you don't understand it's so, it's so important that you seek him for understanding you seek him for knowledge knowledge a few days before this incident happened i remember i was reading my bible and the lord led me to ezekiel this is in ezekiel chapter 2 verse 6 and it says but you son of man do not be afraid of them and do not be afraid of their words even though briars and thorns are beside you and you live among scorpions don't be afraid of their words or discouraged by the look on their faces for they are a rebellious house speak my words to them whether they listen or refuse to listen for they are rebellious and you son of man listen to what i tell you do not be rebellious like that rebellious house open your mouth and eat what i'm giving to you and y'all i read that just a few days before this incident occurred and i knew god was speaking to me directly concerning this situation that god was telling me do not partake in this do not let the enemy bring you out of character and try to destroy all the work that i've been doing in you all this time the lord really 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 got me through that situation y'all and the dream was just such a huge part of it because it really confirmed that the lord was with me and i just knew to look to him for guidance because i knew he had already gone there with me that he was still with me um and it just showed me just how much god cares about me like, it was a hard situation like y'all that was very traumatic but it really strengthened my relationship with god and just made me appreciate him much more and and it was just it was beautiful as bad as it was it was so beautiful and that's really what life is i feel like everything is hard life is hard but when you really focus on god and you realize that he's with you um 
it just becomes so beautiful. What we have to remember about God is as much as he is our Lord and our Savior and our Father, he is also our friend. And what good friend do you know that doesn't warn you of danger? God is the God who sees everything he sees the hearts of other people he sees our hearts he sees the spiritual realm he sees the natural world he sees what's to come and he sees what was before in scripture in isaiah 45 he says i will go before you and level the uneven places i will shatter the bronze doors and cut the iron bars in two I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches from secret places so that you may know that I am the Lord. I am the God of Israel who calls you by your name. I just hope that this uh, video would encourage people to pay attention to their dreams. There are some people who actually like, don't care about their dreams. I write my dreams down and I seek the Lord about my dreams because I know that he uses my dreams to speak to me. Another short warning that I want to give, and I probably want to make another video going more in depth about this, but if you are a dreamer, understand that the enemy can also use your dreams to try to steer you wrong or to try to put ideas in your head. Don't just rely solely on your dreams um, for everything, but uh, truly just prayer. That's your superpower. The word of God is a superpower those things paired with your dreams, God will do some crazy, unimaginable things in your life if you let him. I promise you. But with that, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so happy that you watched this if you made it all the way here. Love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later.